Welcome back to Rebound. Starting on page 285, I read and reread her letter, then fall asleep with it next to my pillow and my endless smile. Practice. I shoot free throws, dribble with Roxy at the club, and then we, when we get home, we go to the park to practice some more. I pretend I'm curly, crossing the ball from one hand over to the other and back again like 50 times. You get a good crossover, Charlie, and you'll catch your opponent off balance. Like this, Roxy, I say, boasting and crossing her up, but not fast enough because she steals the ball like a thief. No, like this, she says, crossing me so fast I almost sprained my ankle trying to get the ball back. More practice. We play till the moon floats across the sky, way past the time the street lights illuminate the court, till my legs are anchors in a sea of tired, but we stay long after playground swings stop swinging and the crickets stop singing. And even then, I want to play some more. Pickup game. At the club, it's no pinball for me, no comic books for me. I don't even care who has the high score on Pac-Man today. Today, I hit the hardwood, play a pickup game, ball and swish. I don't score. A lot of points, but I do cross this one dude over like a bridge, and I do jump so high to get a ball. My fingers touch the net, and I do catch a pass with one hand from Wink, and I do alley-oop Roxy, who skyrockets to the net with a layup, and we do win. Guess who? Good game, champ. Yo, what's up, skinny? Yo, yo, yo. You watched? Dang, Charlie, I didn't even know you got game. I taught everything he knows. Roxy interrupts, coming up from behind. Hi, I'm Roxy, Charlie's, fi Charlie's favorite cousin. Who might you be? I've never seen you around here before. I'm Charlie's homeboy. Skinny's the name and hoops my game, but love is my claim to fame. Can you play? Roxy asks him. Does the sun shine? Well... Today it doesn't because it's raining, so I guess not, she says, rolling her eyes. Your cousin's a P-Y-T, Skinny says. A what? Roxy snaps with a frown. A pretty young thing, Skinny says, laughing and trying to high-five me, but I leave him hanging. I know what it is, silly, but it's rude. I was just, yeah, just save it. Charlie, please teach your homeboy how to talk to girls, she says, whipping her braids, walking away. I think she likes me a lot. Doubt that. You like my kicks? Yeah. When did you get them? Yesterday. No more Kmart specials for me, Charlie, he says laughing, showing off his white-on-white -white stunners. You need a pair of Jordans, too. Uh, I don't have a hundred dollars. You're a champ, Charlie. Don't look like a chump. Get some real sneaks. My cousin's got these for me for cheap. Your cousin... No, thanks, Ivan. Ugh, he's gotten me in enough trouble already, Skinny. It's not Ivan. It's my other cousin. Who? Randy. He works at Foot Locker in D.C. Oh. What you doing on the 4th of July? Family reunion. You want to come? I could ask my mom and grandma. Nah, but you should come hang. I'll introduce you to Randy. If your mom and grandma will let you, I mean. Um, it's not like I'm locked up or anything. Then come to Skate Castle with me. That's where he works. I thought you said he worked at the Foot Locker. Oh, I mean, he works both places. Where's the Skate Castle? It's not too far. It's somewhere in D.C. There's a party there on the 4th. We can go. What kind of party? Summer Skate Jam, 6 o'clock. So you coming? Maybe. Come on, Charlie. We can ask Randy to hook you up with some Jordans. Plus, it's the last time I'll see you all summer. Let's get our independence. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Uh, maybe? Okay, bet. I'll see you later, Skinny. Envy. As he walks away in his slick, sleek, 
white sneakers with elephant print trim and an air cushion on the hills to help you jump higher. It's like he's floating on air or walking on water. And if I had a pair, I could probably up my game and do all kinds of tricks like magic and soar like a bird, if only. When I get home, the man in the cowboy hat is walking up the driveway. Hey, Sonny, is Iron Man home? Who? Your granddaddy. What you doing, Smitty? My grandfather says, coming from around the back of the house with a hammer. What are you trying to build now, Percy? Always the same thing, building a better world, Smitty. True. Alice wants a shed for something or another. I'm not even sure. How come your grandson's not helping you? It's a good question, Smitty. These young folks don't work like we used to. Back in the olden days, I'd say, when rainbows were black and white. Percy, your grandson's trying to joke me. Nice to see you, sir. Granddaddy, I'll be back, I say, rushing away before he does ask me to help him with the shed. Conversation at Roxy's front door. I can't play right now, Chuck. Why? I'm going to the movies. Oh, I invite you to come, but it's just girls. Here's my ball. You can take it to the court and practice. Thanks. Work on your crossover and your layup, Charlie. We got a big game on Friday and we can't afford for you to mess up. A big game? What do you mean? You saw the poster for the three-on-three -three hoop stars game on Friday, right? Yeah, the Boys and Girls Club is playing the YMCA. Exactly, and there are rivals. They beat us last year, and they never stopped bragging. How do I know this? Because I got to the, I go to the same school as two of their players, and they literally bragged about it every day at lunch. And it was unbearable, Chuck. I tell you, unbearable. So you got to be ready. Uh, be ready for what? Be ready to play. I'm playing? Oh, you're exhausting. But what about Grover? His mom doesn't want him to hurt, get hurt again, so she says he can't play. Oh, so it's me, you, and Wink. Oh, now go practice. I got to get dressed and put on my makeup. Wait, you wear makeup? Bye, Charlie Bell. Bye. Solo. Nobody's on the court but me, so I play against myself. Missing jump shots, grabbing rebounds, making layups, layups, falling like a champ. And then there's an illustration. Me against the world. Check ball. Chuck Bell. You want to play? Hope you can dance. I got moves like ballet. The cor court is my stage. Superstar and this is Broadway. I'm shining bright like serious this ain't no play i'm serious i'm about to take flight don't get delirious the cross is coming fast and furious chuck's the baddest you ever seen a razzle dazzle balling machine here comes dr boom aka the fantastic chuck chuck bell bringing down the kaboom the two old men are sitting on the porch when I return a few hours later, their faces lit by the fading sun, sleeping, snoring, and I don't want to wake them. So I tiptoe up the stairs. When out of nowhere, Mr. Smitty screams, freeze, and points an imaginary gun at me. And I almost jump out on my own skin, and then they both sit up and start laughing like madmen. You got him, Smitty, my grandfather says. Sorry, Chuck, Smitty had too many hours fighting crime today. You can't out-joke a joker, Smitty screams, slapping his knee and laughing so hard he almost falls out of the chair. Say good night to your grandfather and Mr. Smith, grandmother says, holding open the front door. I do, then follow her in the door to sanity. Come sit down in the kitchen. I want to show you something, she says. And we are going to stop there on page 305.